Hey guys, welcome back to the Mod Bros. I'm Jacob. I'm going to be going over what I'm running into the competitive series that we've been playing in recently. Uh, this is my very small loadout. I like to run something very light, and so I've just only got a few things. First things first, is running my Alpha Trooper. It's inside of this thing, as I've said on our Instagram, it's running homemade internal setup, which is running a fully homemade plunge rod, homemade catch, homemade breach, running a brass breach and a scar barrel. It's things, this thing is super great. I can put Whatever springs I want in the back, I have a cut down Hillman 62 that I'm using to get like 130 FPS for running in low, low power awards. And then for the competitive series, I'm running this one at 200 with a 25 Newton spring. I'm also experimenting right now with a full length 62 Hillman just to see how much I can get out of this thing. But this thing's really great. It's basically a pop prophecy sort of inside of an Alpha Trooper with homemade internals. Pump action springer performance, that's super great. I removed the slam fire and whatnot, so I was able to deprime it and I didn't have to run with any issues with slam fire. Runs off of mag, it's basically your best Springer primary ever that you could ever want. And now, everything else that I need to bring to the field with me is inside of this little toolbox. So let me show you what's inside. Alright guys, and so this is everything else that I bring to me with me to a war. First things first I have is my secondary, it's a side strike. All I've done to this thing is change out the barrel to CPVC so that I wouldn't have darts that are falling out in front when I have it in the holster. Additionally, with the holster, I added a little bit of foam on the inside because side strike fits well in there, but it still jostles around a little bit. And if you run a little bit too fast, it might fall out. It's still loose because it's been worked in a lot. You may want to put some new foam into it just to keep it in there, but it holds it in there tightly. This is just going to go on my belt as a backup just in case I run out of ammo, I need to reload, or I have a jam. I can get a nice little quick little one shot to take out anybody that's trying to push up on top of me. So that's the first thing. Next thing I bring is a Red Bull, not sponsored. <laughs> Next thing I'm bringing is one of my other primaries. It's a modified Kronos. We've already made a video about this one, guys, so you can check that out in our channel or in the link in the description down below. This thing's really great. I love to run it. But I've always got to bring that with me, too. I've got a strap just so I can run that on my Alpha Trooper. Keep it slinged up if I want to run a sling that particular day. Next thing I've got is my homemade mag holder to hold 12 round magazines for my Kronos. This thing's gonna be on my left side hip, so that way when I run out of a 12 mag, I can just drop it, throw it in the next one, and it's good to go. Additionally, I bring myself a Tomahawk. Uh, just recently, they said that we were allowed to bring melees for the wars that we wanna play in, and we're not gonna be doing specifically melee wars, but it's always fun to have a Tomahawk that I can throw at someone. So that'll be fun to use. Got my standard dart pouch, which is a pouch that holds darts. Pretty basic, it's just a bag <laughs> that I cut the lid off of so it wouldn't flap pose on me. And then my next thing is my pride and joy, my baby, my recon. You guys have not seen a video about this one yet, but we're going to do a full video on this just to fully explain this because it's had a lot of work done to it and it deserves its own video. But yeah, this is my recon. Alright guys, the next thing that I have in my box is I have the barrels for my recon that I can go onto the front for different performances. This one, I currently have it set up with the spring combination in my recon to hit 200 FPS with FBJs with this particular barrel, and I think it looks really cool. It's running a copper scar on the inside that's eight string, quarter turn, and it's giving me super straight shots that are working really well. And then this one's my newer barrel that I made recently. It's just a very short little barrel from an iron fire that clips on the front. It's got a very short, like two inches of 17, 30 seconds, and then a Merlin barrel that I've made for it. With this one, I should be able to hit close to stock performance with a dumb down or a lower down spring combination inside my recon, and then I should be able to use that for stock wars and stuff like that, or just lower power wars. Next thing I have is right here, which is my barrel for my Kronos. What this does is it allows me to put in a micro dart inside the back and then throw this into my Kronos, and I'm able to fire elite darts or FBJs out of my Kronos. It's really nice for a one shot sort of super powerful thing because Kronos currently hits probably around 120 with FPJs, but this hits 160 with FPJs. So I'm able to hit a nice like long range shot if I want. If someone's a little too far away for those rival balls to go, especially since downrange rival balls start to curve off a little bit here and there. And then the last thing I've got in my box is my mags for my recon or my alpha trooper. I run 318s in sort of this homemade mag pouch sort of thing that just clips onto my belt. And that's that's all I really bring to a war. I don't like to run with a ton of blasters, a ton of things. I like to stay light. I run just a belt loadout with just a dart pouch, mags, and then my secondary. And that's pretty much it. I only have three actual primaries and then a side strike secondary and a tomahawk.
That's the only thing I really use for wars, but they're all really great primaries and they all work super well. <laughs> so that'll be it for my loadout. Next video we're gonna be doing is gonna be a video on Tucker's loadout. It's gonna be a lot longer. He's got a lot more stuff to show off than I do. And then after that, we'll be doing a video about my recon, going in depth with how beautiful it just is. So look forward to that, guys. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe to this channel so we can start posting up some new videos and you guys will never know, never miss out on any video that we post. We'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time that I'm in the video.